Hey guys, hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more Sons, Unlikely Sons of Carthage here in EU4. Um, this is a new recording session, so I need to take a moment to get my bearings in, which I'm pretty sure I have mostly. Um, major thing is, is we need to get over to this war goal, Caglari. He's got a 20 stack over here, but the Ottomans are marching into France, southern France, um, with, you know, a good 60,000 men. And uh, I am hoping that they would pull these guys off. We have a bunch of cogs that are currently queued up. Specifically, we have um, 20 cogs um, queued up. And so with that, I'm just going to bide my time. Hopefully have the Ottomans not peace out in the meantime, which they are getting kind of close to. But Great Britain also is as well. I'm assuming that they have a bit of war exhaustion. No, not really. Even though they lost, uh, you know, 82,000 men. But uh, this is nice. We've lost a lot of ships, but Spain has lost his entire navy for the most part. <clears throat> yep, it's pretty much only Britain's navy that's left right now, which is wonderful. Spain without a navy is uh, quite a good thing to see. So as far as tech goes, we are right on par with taking tech. We should probably just uh, focus on that for now. And... Um, the Ottomans are coming over here to fight off some rebels. So that doesn't make much sense to me. Spain is offering me a peace, but uh, I'm just gonna hold on until we get our cogs and then at least try to land some men over here. This is hills, or highlands rather, so... So long as we have our navy ready to roll, we should be good. Um, so, yes. Hmm. Yeah, Ottomans might peace out here as soon as they're able to. I don't know why you guys are over there. Let's help these guys out by blockading. The sooner they win that, the sooner they'll go focus on Spain. Beautiful. Uh, we don't need any loans or anything like that. We are just waiting. Uh, I would like to get that gold province back, though. That would be super nice. Let's get you there, and then get you guys over here. Um, so... We have some war score from that. Uh, oh, Ottomans are landing men. Wonderful. I just hope that they do not peace out in the meantime. We got three galleys down here. Let's go join them up. Looks like our transports are suiciding, which is kind of dumb. That does not make much sense to me. Let's do this. So we have an admiral. He landed and he is going to get killed. Yowzers. Oh no, Otto man. Oh no, Auto Man. Okay, uh, let's get you guys over here. Yeah, he's gonna get stack wiped. Yikes. Um, yeah, he's definitely gonna peace out now. It's definitely not gonna help with um, strength of alliances, that's for sure. Oh no, that's a bad one. And then they got their 60, Britain has their 66,000 men over here. I've kind of accepted the fact that we're not going to get away from mysticism for the rest of this campaign. So let's just go with it. Let's get these guys over here. Ottomans are going to peace out very soon. So let's get a leader here. If we can get, um, get our strength up, we might be able to make this happen. No, Spain, you shall get nothing from me. Let's get over here and get you guys grouped up as well. We're going to need, actually, let's have you guys over here. Superior numbers. Hmm. That morale would be so nice. Let's just see here. Make sure that we're not doing anything stupid. So Spain has comparable morale, comparable discipline. Should be fine. It's a river crossing. We have zero maneuver. So we're gonna take the, a negative two roll. Oh no, no, no. Okay, this is close. This is really close. Um, okay, we win that. Let's head over here and stack wipe. Beautiful. Okay, and as soon as we take this back, we should uh, be well on our way to uh, making this war score not so negative. Oof, okay. 
So until we get two war score, we cannot demand anything. Or ten, I mean. Ten war score. So, this is the nice thing about this though. Even if the Ottomans peace out, um, Great Britain would peace out right now, which is wonderful. And that frees up an, a huge amount of uh, relative strength of alliances. The only issue is, is that the length of the war, the Ottomans are going to want to peace out very soon. So that's an issue. There are some more transports over here. I suppose we could siege down these provinces over here, maybe. What are they doing? I don't know what those transports were doing. <laughs> Let's get over to Tunis and get a repair tick here. So we will be getting, um, ticking war score, which is super nice. Um, let's get you guys over here. Ottomans are landing men over here for some reason. <laughs> that, uh, does not make much sense. Let's have the Ottomans siege down these provinces instead. It's only a matter of time before they peace out. I certainly am not, uh, anticipating them staying in this war any longer. Which I'm a little concerned about, but I'm also optimistic that things won't be super, super bad. I would really like for you guys to take that 14 stack and put them on, like, Naples or something. Yep, they pieced out. That's okay. So, we can actually make demands right now. And I would like to take something like this. Um, we'll have to see. We may not be able to get that without sieging down some uh, mainland stuff. But we'll see what we can come up with. Okay, let's have you guys blockade. That will give us a decent amount of uh, war score as well. Have you guys blockade. Have you guys come down here. Come down here. The blockades will be quite good for our war score. We have some men on these transports for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. Here we go. Get them blockaded all around. There we go. Much more likely to uh, give us some clay here. Um, I don't think it's in my best interest to head over to the mainland because he will certainly um, get pissy about that. So, let's see here. What in the world? So they would be willing to give me this at the very least, but that's not necessarily helpful. If I could get some clay up here, we would be able to um, make our way up to go raid Venice and stuff. But that's not uh, definitely not something I'm expecting to happen in the near future. Um, perhaps we just wait it out, let the war exhaustion tick up a bit. It should be going up a bit, right? Nah, not very much actually. Hmm. Sadly. We do have the war goal, so we can get up to 21% more. So I suppose we're just going to wait it out. Um, let's see here. Let's get fleet basing from these guys. Let's actually pay off a loan. No, we cannot. Wow. Let's get fleet basing from these guys. Uh, we actually can't even blockade the northern shores, so that's, that doesn't make any sense. So we just wait then. We just wait. They're not going to be... They're not going to do anything, so we're just going to wait. Let the war score tick up. Okay. Long live uh, Suleiman uh, the first. A 233 and an heir Usman. A 244. Not too bad. Okay. We'll be able to embrace institution here. Get some free money. So we should do that. It's wonderful. Get some Diplo points, but I think... Do we need that? Hmm. We'll be able to embrace Institution here before too long. So, this is not going up very much at all, actually. Okay, maybe it is. National Tax Modifier. Legitimacy. Tolerance of the True Faith is pretty good, though. How much are we making from tax? Not a whole lot. Eh, a bit, but... I think the tolerance of the true faith makes sense for me. We're not going to pay off any debt because we are holding on to that. We're going to let his war exhaustion tick up. We lose some sailors because reasons. Can we raid? How long till we can raid? 94. Well, that's not very useful. All Tunisian provinces in Tunis will receive negative unrest and Berber will get too. Cool. 
don't particularly care. Let's uh, cut you out so we can save up more money here. Let's do a bit more looting here. Might as well, right? More money in the bank. And uh, we're just waiting. Because I'm going to need to take at least one of these islands. Ideally, we'd be able to take, like, Mallorca. I think that's called... Valeris? No. That's Mallorca. Why is this... What? Is this not Ma Mallorca? Minorca, Mallorca, and Ibiza? To the best of my knowledge, I am correct on that. I might be wrong. So all of these provinces are getting devastated pretty bad as well. Well, not pretty bad, but... Getting devastated. We're honestly just waiting on a uh, call to peace. Call for peace. Call for pizza? Golden Era. Our Golden Era is not going to be lasting much longer. I think 93. Yeah. Losing our great power status. Not if I have anything to say about it. Um, I suppose instead of Minorca, we should probably take Ibiza. What's the... Uh, 3 dev versus... Come on now, I can't even click these items. 4 dev, so it'll actually be easier to take as well, which will allow us to get claims on all this. Um... So I suppose we wait. I would like to take a little bit of cash from him as well. How many reasons is it? Okay, we can probably do that. As far as a debate goes, free stab, monthly manpower, and more exhaustion. That sounds great. Culture conversion, land attrition. Yeah, let's just go with this. Let's ignore some corruption. Um, do I care about government reforms? Not particularly. And uh, towards mysticism or army tradition, or admin support. Well, I suppose we can give them admin support. Free stab is nice, that helps our unrest. So how are you guys doing? They have positive stability and positive prestige. We have very good prestige right now. So we are going to just let this tick up. The ticking war score will go up a bit more. And until we are able to uh, piece him out for a bit of cash, we're gonna just let this happen. As well as his um, uh, war exhaustion will go up a bit over time. He's offering me a piece, ceding some uh, stuff to me and money, but I will decline it. I want exactly what I want and then nothing less. Ideally, we'd be able to take more clay, but I think money is definitely the best way to go about this. I'm assuming he still has loans. I, I feel like... Oh, wow, he has a lot of morale. Oh, my gosh. Who was I looking at before? That morale is nuts. No wonder I almost lost that fight. Um, let's see here. He's got 12 loans. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Well, we definitely want more. Mamluks have declared on Ethiopia. It seems like every three months or so we're getting an extra war score. Or the Abadi Faith. Sounds good to me. Uh... We can repay the loan, that's fine. We're going to be taking more money from them anyway, so... Now, the true the question is, is how much do we take? Because we can just wait it out. I mean, we don't have Call for Peace yet. We will certainly soon, but... Uh, let's go for a thousand ducats. Truce with Portugal is over. Yeah, we don't have any claims on Portugal, sadly. We do need to attack Mo uh, Morocco as well. And uh, the big thing is is in the near future, we need to get down here. We need to start snaking, get this gold. That is going to make us a powerhouse. And then we'll be able to drop the Ottomans, probably pick up Russia or somebody like that to help start dismantling the Ottomans. That way we can get our uh, religious centers in uh, Jerusalem. Uh, we're gonna have to take Rome and we're going to have to take Mecca and Medina or Mecca and Medina to get our extra missionaries. We're gonna make our way over here and we're going to release Najd because he's gonna be super useful in uh, getting everything converted. Let's also make sure we're not... Yes, we can convert for you. That sounds good to me. And then... Um, sounds good. That's fine. Um, so let's just hold out and wait for some more money. Like I said, at a thousand ducats, I'll peace. That's fine with me. Oh, I lost a fight against rebels? Brother. <laughs> well, that's funny. Okay. Ottomans have embraced the printing press. We shall soon as well. well. They have negative reasons. Okay, let's just take the 900. Use that to embrace institution. 
which allows us to take tech across the board. Two Diplo techs, actually. As far as ideas go, we're super far ahead on Mill. Uh, Mill and... Oh, wait, we haven't unlocked an idea group yet? No, no, no. Soon we will. Um, and so... We should probably go with a Mill idea. Something like a quality or a defensive, but uh, I, I tend to be more offensive later for the siege ability, as well as the extra pips and the discipline are nice. Offensive is just really good in general. Aristocratic is also nice, and it also... We have... Cavalry combat, do we not? No, we do not. So it's changed. Infantry combat. So this would actually jive pretty well with quality. What do we get from uh, quality ideas here? Morale of armies, 10% siege ability, because we have religious. So that'd be 30% siege ability, which is nice. Trade efficiency. Okay, and then offensive gives us what policies? Trade efficiency and movement speed. And then uh, missionary strength versus heretics, which would be super nice. And religious unity, which would also be nice. Hmm, because the missionary strength versus heretics is going to be really important for this uh, achievement that we're going for. I think offensive is probably the call. We'll see, though. So I think the reason why... Uh, excuse me, I had a little hiccup there. He got Miltech, which is why he had that extra morale boost. I was being a dingus there. So let's say uh, Spain has... Well, he's going to take out a few more loans as well. Let's pay off our debts. And then... Um, gosh, that is so bad. As soon as we take admin tech, we're going to uh, buy that down for the foreseeable future. Um, let us convert or core this all up. Let us... Oops, come on now. My naval limit is over, which makes sense. Let us get my entire navy grouped up, actually. And then, um... Probably want to... Increase the autonomy here to prevent rebels. And then in the next war, we will certainly be laying the smack down on getting the rest of the clay that we're going to need for the achievement. We're also going to be pretty close to a, um, absolutism by the time we get the next war going, so that'll be really good for us. So we have, like, no light ships, and we have a lot of transports. But I think that's probably fine. We definitely want to rival... Hmm. Spain makes the most sense for me. It's a bummer that I didn't get to use... didn't have them as a rival when we were fighting before. Um, so as far as Mali goes, Morocco would help. And Yao, but Yao is a, a non-issue. We have Cleansing of the Heresy. Uh, as far as aggressive expansion down here, it's not an issue. We have none, actually. So that's pretty good. Um, well, I suppose we might as well start making our way down there then. Let's get a couple of buildings. So we're not uh, sitting on all this money here. Manpower's looking pretty good. Let's actually build some of these. Get our naval force limit up. We have all that galley combat ability, so we might as well use it. So let's take a look at what we can raid here. We can raid some stuff over here. Yeah, wonderful. Well, let's get over and do a bit of raiding. What's going on up here? Yeah, this can all be raided now, which is great. We need to, we need the money. Humiliate rival on the Mamluks. <laughs> Eight ducats, nice. Wow, that is so overpowered. So this is all 100%, very good. And then uh, this should be 20, very good. This has all been rated already. 98, ah, Morocco's rating right now. This can be rated in 97. Yeah, Morocco's rating all this stuff right now. That's annoying. Luckily he doesn't have the reach up here. Well, maybe he does. Let's see here. Yep. No? What did I say? 98? Yeah, Morocco can reach all that. Oh, wait. I'm being a dungus. I'm, I'm not even looking at my navy. 21 for raiding Provence. Very good. We'll raid the Pope. That's fine with me. That was always my favorite thing in CK2, was taking my, my um, Vikings, riding them all the way down to here, and then raiding Rome. <laughs> uh, wow. 125? Not bad at all. The Pope is certainly going to be pretty mad about this. 72 for raiding Rome. Oh my gosh, we can raid all of this. This is so nice. Oh my goodness gracious. Wonderful. This is beautiful. Alright, so Ottomans, how do you feel about me right now? They're doing okay. 
Uh, my Discord keeps on restarting here. Let me, let me tab out real quick and get rid of Discord. There. My Discord keeps reopening and it's uh, making the overlay show up on my game. Uh, and then we can probably raid all this as well, correct? No, not for... Okay, so that's been raided by the knights, I assume. Let's see here. Can we reach Bari? I think we can. We can. Beautiful. I'm sure the knights have raided all this already. Of course they have. Alright, wow. So that's 500 extra ducats for us, which is super nice. Um, I reckon we should probably build some forts. Building one on Tunis would make sense. Um... Building some down here to keep these African boys from getting up to my lands would probably be good, but, uh... Let's get these guys here, which will prevent anything from over here happening. We're getting money, a lot of money coming in, so we can certainly make this a thing. Alright, let's get our navy grouped up here. We have a lot of galleys now. We actually have naval superiority, if you can believe that. I almost do. But I also don't. It's too good to be true. Let's get you guys grouped up over here. Let's get you guys grouped up over here. More corruption loss, which is wonderful. Free money. For, like, tolerance of the true faith. Uh, yep, I'm gonna say worth. And then, um... Let's take this guy again. We're gonna march down into Africa and attack Mali. I'm going to have to keep my army split, probably. Uh, I can certainly build some more. Let's see, what do we have here? Four cav. So let's get uh, four more cav, and then... How many cannons do we have? We have five cannons. Let's get a couple more. Ah, eh, we can't really have four cannons. Ten more men. We'll use that stack to beat up on Morocco. So Morocco is in war with Portugal. Portugal is attacking. Okay. I'm assuming that that's hurting. So how many loans do you guys have? They only took out an extra loan for that, so that's not bad. So our morale is actually equal to uh, France right now, which is pretty cool. Morocco is sitting at, uh, where are you at? Uh, 14,000. So this might be a bit overkill building up this big old army, but uh, I'm certainly okay with it. Let's... Do we mothball? I think mothball makes sense. Save us the money. I'd rather spend it on the army than the navy for now. Oh yeah, especially as these cav get brought in. All that attrition, you like that, boys? Let's get you guys over here. Let's have these guys with our uh, glorious Suleiman heading down into Africa. And yeah, we're gonna attack Mali. I'm trying to think if I'm gonna be able to make it. I'll probably be able to get the one. And maybe take a couple of the other good provinces here. Where the fort's at. So he's got a couple forts as well. No, just kidding. He has like three forts. So I'd like to make my way over to Joma. That is his capital. So I have to take Janae. And maybe this. We'll see. We'll see. It depends on what I'm able to actually take here. So we want to take admin tech. That way we can get an idea. Wonderful. I love losing stability. And then we are going to buy down our inflation, which is hurting us quite a bit. It actually only costs 66 because of our golden era. We only have three years for that, so let's just use our points right now to buy it down. Because uh, our golden era is going to expire here in like two and a half years. Tech cost is going to be cheaper as well, but uh, I don't think I'd be able to get it within three years, so it's fine with me. Can we actually get some more points from the Ulema? No, we can't, sadly. We can get money from these guys, though. Sounds good to me. As far as the Dimmy goes, we don't even have any provinces that aren't Dimmi. I should probably uh, keep these fetishist provinces and give them to the Dimmi, but I don't want to state it, so maybe I'll give the Dimmi some of these provinces over here once it's done coring. We'll see. Nothing is set in stone, friends. So, Mali will be calling in... I do think I should build a fort here. Is any of this... This is Highlands. That makes sense why this was a fort. Um, this will... This one has a ton of connections. It's connected to all these provinces, so let's build it there. And then um, it's not going to be ready for this war, but that's fine. doesn't matter to me. 
Uh, legalism and autonomy change. Sounds good. And then we'll get down here. That way we can wipe out his army. We could actually... He's allied to Jolof. France would have come in on this one. I don't think it's necessary though. Tafalal has an 8 stack, so that's great. And we have this 28 stack, um, which we'll actually be able to march down through Timbuktu if we need to as well. Let's go for Cleansing of the Heresy. Okay, we'll call in these guys here. Get these guys over here and wipe out Yao's army. And then um, we'll probably just be able to piece Yao out. Very good. Wonderful. I don't want to fight your rebels if I don't have to. There you go. Oh, we won anyways. Feels bad. All right, cool. Well, that's going to do it. We're going to handle this war in the next one. So I hope you guys are enjoying. If you are, please share your support and leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. Uh, cool. But uh, if you want to check out the Discord or support me on Patreon if you super really like me a lot, that's all appreciated. The links for those are all in the description below the video. And with all of that being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. A big special thanks to my new supporter, John Thompson, as well as my other two top supporters, Palmer and Bloodbound. Also, thank you to Jonathan Crane, Jaren Clampett, Lambda Driver, Corbett Gaming, Michael Walker, Zwayhander, William Reed, Gregory the Bittersteel, Christopher Pegolo, and Airborne Animal 7. I appreciate you guys very much. Don't forget to check out the series we have linked on the left and right, and don't forget to subscribe.